Good evening, my vacuum cleaner chums. How are you today? This is another Peterborough video of a Hoover 612. This came to me via a member of a car forum, actually. He picked this up and he was passing my grand's house. I'm at my grand still, look, there's the little village. So he dropped it off for me, and here I am. And here it is. Now, we're not plugging this in today. In fact, we're taking it apart so it fits in the car a bit better. But the cable is shot, I'll be honest. I'm not plugging that in. Nice old plug there. Made of unbreakable rubber. Oh, look, it broke. Yeah. So I probably won't keep that either, I'll be honest. But the reason I'm not keeping the cable, I did have a look, is that it looks like the inner cores themselves are all tied up and I don't like that so I'll probably take the cable off of that back actually so we're not turning it on I might do an autopsy of the cable at some point but not today so if we take off the bag you'll see it's quite clean it's I don't think it's original but I do think it is a genuine Hoover replacement. Um, it's not bad, it's utterly filthy and will need a damn good wash, but yeah, that's too bad. I'll show you this now before I start to put it away. This is the instruction manual for this. The Hoover model 612 and dated June 1950. So this is a war machine, which is why the handle has done this. It's all perished and worn, and I think, well, it's not, it's, it's not worn, is it? It's gone. And I think that's because the rubber in the war was different. Because I've seen pictures of Hoover war belts made of war rubber. It was in World War II, when the real rubber was being used to make bombs or whatever. Hoover weren't allowed to use it, of course, so they had to have improvised. And that's probably why the handle's gone. Possibly the cable as well, because look, it is all over it's gone really that's a nice bag touch there so i'll start breaking it down a bit because it'll make it easier to film i'll be honest like i say i want it to fit a bit better in the car i managed to leave the 652a hole but we're off to manchester tomorrow to a gig so i want it to be a little bit more Compact because then I was need to get even the car afterwards. The shoes that my dad's to say. So I'll pop that in there. And there's another screw down here. Oh no, of course you're going to be seized, aren't you? Hang on. Right, that's not coming off, so we're going to have to leave that for now. So let's have a look underneath. And it's not too pretty, I'll be honest. It's sat on some rust. The brush roll sort of does turn, but not very well. The belt is comically knackered. If I try and do this, I think it might need a new one somehow, but the rest of it's not too bad. I think to take that off. The motor spins nicely. There's no excessive movement on the bearings. I'm not even going to try and take that out now. Needless to say, it's a bit seized and the brush strips are quite worn. That still bounces though. This is a 612 J298134 med, whatever med means. And all in all, it is a very nice machine. Right, let's pop that down. Oh, no, you don't fall over. The Hoover Cleaner makes carpets last longer. <laughs> Lovely, nice on off switch detail there. That reclines the handle, I do believe. I do believe. Yes, it does. Very nice indeed. So. Next time you see, oh yeah, we can see the cable a little bit better now. This is completely knackered. Come on, turn around. There we go, look. 
So we'll take it apart and see why they've done that, but yeah, I'm not playing it. The next time you see this, we'll fit a cable to it and make it fit all nice. So until then, thank you very much for watching. I shall get this packed away. And that, I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.